guys, it's Statman16, and luckily today I don't have another crappy review for you. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you some of my comic books. I only have a few of them, and most of them, well I guess all of them, are Spider-Man. And uh, this one is uh, the original Spider-Man comic book, the first one he was in, Amazing Fantasy. Now, if you want to look real closely here, it says, reprinted exclusively for Old Navy. And again, you see Old Navy. It's on the shirt there. It's a little blurry, but it's on his shirt. Now, I didn't notice that this was a reprint. My grandma, she has no clue about anything comic books. And, uh, she put it down in front of my face. She put it down on the table because it's my birthday. And I about peed my pants when I saw it. And then, about a week later, after I told all my friends I got this, I read that. So, yeah, you probably know how I felt about that. And the second one I'm going to show you is Spider-Man Part 2 of 2, Sleepwalker. Now, uh, I wasn't planning on showing you guys this because there's nothing really fancy about it, but... I want to show you the back of it because it's pretty bad. Wolverine for the NES. Hey, see that little rainbow right there? Yeah, that's automatically telling you it's going to be a terrible game. Just wanted to show you guys that. A lousy game. Lousy comic, too. I didn't understand it at all. In the year 2000, they came out with four, they reprinted four comic books called Spider Man Classics. And I have all four of them. They all four originally came with toys, but when I bought these from a friend a few years ago, I think he lost the toys or something. And so I only have the comic books, but it's pretty cool. I have all four of them. I'm going to show them to you. This one here, the original Black Suit Spider-Man. I got ripped off on this one because I didn't look at the back to see it was a reprint, and I paid 20 bucks for this. Yeah, a reprint, first black suit Spider-Man. I was pretty disappointed about that one. The second one in the Spider-Man classics is Venom Lethal Protector. This one was pretty new, and it was such a shock. As you can see here, the chilling conclusion. It really was. It, it was really weird for me to see Spider-Man team up with Venom and uh, save the day, I guess you could say. It, uh... It's a pretty good comic book. About halfway is Venom, and then the other half is Spider-Man. They're fighting crime and stuff. They end up saving the day. It's a pretty good comic book. It's probably my favorite of all the classics. The third comic book is The Amazing Spider-Man. Silver Sable is back. Again, Spider-Man classic. Three of four. And, uh, nothing really to it. It's freaking hate this comic book. The only part I like about it is this ad right here. Tobacco is wacko. Is that weird or what? That expression. The cigarette's got a like creepy face. And uh, this one, it, it's really weird. Does Spider-Man is still dressed as Spider-Man, but the Silver Sable before you know, I don't know, Spider-Man's retarded in this comic book, so I wouldn't say this is a classic. I mean, I would use this as freaking crap wipe. I wipe crap off my butthole with this. This is a terrible comic book. The only reason they reprinted it, because, like, people would say, I have that comic book, it's so bad. I threw it in the trash can. I wish I still had it now. So they reprinted it because everybody threw it in the trash can. Alright, I was just joking about the trash can thing, but it's it's a terrible comic book. Right, here we have The Amazing Spider-Man. It's a pretty new one. It is Spider-Man Classic. Four out of four. And uh, this is Metamorphosis. It's freaking weird. This is the weirdest thing I've seen in a long time. First, Spider-Man gets sucked up into, I don't know, a tornado or something. And uh, 
then, as you see right there, that's Spider-Man. That part right there is Spider-Man. The other part is a tur is a tarantula, and this is him. Freaking weird, weird comic book. I would say it's a classic, though. It's it's really weird. I mean, it probably gave little kids nightmares. I've shown you all the Spider-Man classics, and now I'm going to show you the Amazing Spider-Man. And this one, he fights the Tricentennial. That's him. The Tricentennial. If you want to look that up, that means 300 years. It says nothing about 300 years in there. One thing that's kind of cool about this is it has Nova from the New Warriors, which nobody ever read anyways. But uh, it's pretty neat. He, he goes with Spider-Man, of course, and they fight the Tricentennial. That's got to be the worst name I've ever heard. These are so bad. This is one of the coolest comic books ever made. Um... Most people that have any sort of a Spider-Man comic book collection, you know, they have to have this. This is probably one comic book that I'd have to say that most comic book collectors have this. It's not even close to rare, but it's Spider-Man 2099. It's set in the future, and uh, I actually heard that the new Spider-Man video game is going to have Spider-Man 2099. And the whole thing is weird. There's a stripper holograph. It, it's all weird, but that was not. This is nothing compared to how weird this one is. Venom 2099 AD. Look at that. That'll give you nightmares. That's what I imagine, like. I don't know, the devil look like it's weird. You know, and then we, of course, we have the, the weird advertisements when you first open the page. You know, that's classic for Spider-Man comics. And, uh, you know, Venom 2099 looks like a freaking gorilla. It sounds weird, but look at it, it looks like a gorilla. And, uh, that's a small part of my collection. I'm not gonna show you... You know what? Fine, I'll show you. Yeah, you see this? Free comic book day comic book. Yeah. Like, look at how lousy the cover is, though. It does It's just a white background in Spider-Man. That's... I mean, I could draw that. I could make this comic book. And then it's full color action from here. I mean, it fights like the G.I. Joes or something. It's god-awful. Well, it's the end of my review. Or, er, really, shouldn't call it a review. Should call it me just showing you my, my crappy comic books. Yeah. Yeah, you see this right here? Yeah. Yeah. If the, dic if the dictionary people ever call you and ask you what the name, what picture should you be next to the word crap. Tell him Spider Man and the Silver Sable. That's such a lousy, 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 lousy comic book. And that's it. That's such a bad comic book.